friends and welcome back to the vlog. I am walking out of the garage back to the house. I'm gonna grab Jackson. We're gonna come out on the front porch for a few minutes. Well, he actually just fell asleep over here in his swing so I don't want to wake him up and disturb him. So if he wakes up here in a minute, we'll go out on the front porch. But it's a little bit after seven. It's Friday evening. It's May 31st, last day of May. Um, three of the girls, three of the girls have three friends spending the night tonight. So one one friend each for each of the three girls. So we've got a house full here tonight. Um, but they played in the pool some. Josh actually just left with Millie, Natalie, and Everly. Um, they went to pick Allie up. Allie had a babysitting job tonight. So he went to pick her up from that. And then everybody else is in the basement hanging out for now, except Jackson and I. That's but anyway, I had a book come in the mail today. So I wanted to show that to y'all. I ordered it day before yesterday. Um, I've heard really good things about this. actually a book for me to read, but it is The Well-Trained Mind. I'll turn it around so you can see the book a little bit better. But it is The Well-Trained Mind, Classical Education at Home. Um, I've heard so many good things about this book. And then if you look on Amazon reviews, nothing but good reviews. So I decided just to go ahead and get it. I had it sitting there in my cart for a little while and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna read it through the summer. I'll highlight what really stands out to me. So I'm just gonna read it through this this summer. I'll let y'all know what I think about it. So I think I'm actually gonna read it just a little bit here now. I just love, love the classical way of learning. Uh, we use cross7.org during our school, which is a classical way of learning where there's uh, memorization by songs. And my kids memorize so well by songs like repetition and singing. They have memorized um, some hymns, some scripture, um, some geography of the seven continents, things like that. But like I said, it's called cross7.org. I'll leave that link in the description box below in case y'all want to check that out as well. Um, and then my high schoolers, um, not every year, but like this past year, my senior took two classes at a classical school, a private school. I just really like that way of learning. Um, so I thought this would be a good book for me to read. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, so it's the next day. We are actually at the Dillard house right now. We went and looked at some shops. We were gonna go gem mining, um, but now we're at the Dillard house. We just got finished eating, so we're walking the kids out here to see the horses, and we took Jackson out of his car seat, and I'm just carrying him out here. He loves it outdoors, y'all, loves it. Where are we going? Go you you see the horses? It's like hunting. Mm. Can I ride? You can take a bite. Mmm, hey, cherry. That is good. Mmm, that's so good. Let me carry him. No, he's good. Little Millie's like him. Look at bad. Say cheese. What you think about it, buddy? Huh? I'm gonna see horses. I'm gonna see the horses. 
and Longhorn. So there's no horses out here right now, just a bull and a couple of goats. I guess the horses are put up right now. He's putting his head into the hay. See the bull and the goats? Y'all, I just realized that I was videoing in slow motion on my camera. I went back to watch it, and it was completely slow motion, and I think probably yesterday's videos are slow motion. So I hope when I go to edit this video, I can figure that out and get it normal. If not, I won't have clips, because obviously I'm not going to upload a whole video of me talking in slow motion. Who wants to see that? Oh my gosh, I can't believe. I can't even figure out how I did that. But anyway, I guess when I go to edit this video, I'll see if I can undo that then our hair again it's that weather this morning y'all where your hair just automatically gets tangly so we keep having to brush our hair over and over anyway you ready for church yeah. you got your glasses yeah they're in my case they're in the case okay as these two stand before you they stand before you with great accomplishment amen mm -hmm. and to the graduates today i say congratulations to you on all your hard work and achievement over the last several years and through these few years of school, you have undoubtedly faced many challenges, not only in school, but we know you've faced many life challenges as well. As we all know, church, that's just part of growing up. Amen. You go through the mountain and sometimes you're in the valley. But your ups and downs, your challenges and your achievements, your excesses, your successes, and yes, your failures have shaped you into the young adult that you are today. But all too often... We define ourselves by the standards of this world and the expectations of others. I, I, so, I, so many times we hear kids say that they want to do one thing, but the parents have a different different plan for their kids than what the kids do. Amen. How many parents have been there? I want you to know, Kylie and Megan, to know today that you can cast those expectations off of you, and I charge you to live by God's standard and His alone. Amen, church? Right. We Amen. must live by God's standard alone. The Word of God is clear that we are called to be a set-apart people for His glory. That ye should show forth the praises of Him who called you out of darkness into His marvelous light. And I remind you graduates in the church today that if you're a child of God, you've been called out of darkness. You've been called out of this world. You've been called out of the expectations of this world. You've been called out of the hustle and bustle of life. But you've been called to be a child of light into His marvelous light. You've been called to be a child of God. You have been called out of darkness and into the marvelous light light of Christ. We are very proud of these two young ladies and all that they've accomplished. And I want you to know, girls, that we are behind you as a church family. Amen, church. Amen. We're behind you as a church family. We love you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so if you would come and, and to honor them the best we can. Many of, them, many of you have honored them and congratulate them. But let's pray first. Heavenly Father, yes. God, we love you. And God, we thank you for Kylie and Megan. And God, all that you've allowed them to accomplish, Lord, in these 12 years of schooling. Oh, God, but they enter into a new season, God. They enter into a season, God, of adulthood, Lord. God, where their dependence upon you will be ever so great, I hope. And Lord, I pray blessing and protection upon them. God, that you will hover around about them. God, that your spirit may abound in them. God, the word that has been planted within them from the days of their childhood, God, will come to fruition, oh God. That your word will be a light unto their feet and a lamp unto their path, oh God. Lord, that they may glorify you in all that is said and done, God. That they may walk with you and commune with you, oh God. Lord, in a special way that you will use their life 
God, to glorify you and protect them, oh God, from the snares of the devil, God. I pray, Lord, that Jesus, Lord, that you will be on their tongue and on their lips and in their heart and on their minds, God, and ever so often that they think and walk and as they breathe, God, they're thinking about you. God, we thank you, Lord, and we love you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Y'all come on around. God, if there be any other way, let this bitter cup pass from me. But He done it. He obeyed. He obeyed His Father. He done it because He loves you. Amen. So if you're in a season of transition, or if you, or if you are new to Christianity, or maybe you just want to get saved today, maybe you're tired of living in sin, and you just want to give your life over to God, you just want to have a burden barrier. Maybe you're tired of just living any old way you want to, and you just need God to lead you. You want the peace of God. Today's a good day to get it, amen. Because He still saves. His mercy is still new every morning. His grace still abounds. Bow your heads, close your eyes with me as we pray. All right, y'all. So it is now Tuesday morning. I did not vlog any yesterday on Monday. We are at the orthodontist. Allie had an early morning orthodontist appointment. It's almost 9.15. To have Allie with me, she just went in there. I have Natalie, Millie, and Jackson with me this morning. Um, if we get out of here in time, I'm not sure if it's a long appointment or not. I forgot what the paper said. If it's not a long appointment, normally if we have early morning appointments like this, I'll grab a bunch of chicken minis like for all the kids to eat. So I may do that after we leave here, depending on what time we get to leave. Hopefully it's not too long. And she should find out today when she gets her braces off. It should be, I'm thinking July or August. All right, we are back home now. And I told y'all I would show you things as they come in the mail for school next year. Um, so if you missed last vlog, I told you a few things we we're going to be covering this coming year. One of them is the 50 States of America. Um, so I got three of these books, which covers each state. I actually, um, saw Tiffany from Our Small Town Life talking about these books. And I thought that would go perfect with what we're studying this year. And it just has each state in it. You have the state flag, state bird, and then you can color in the map and they can just kind of, and then they can kind of visualize where that state is, go ahead and mark it in on the map, color it, and we'll just do that. I think we're going to do this just once a week, more than likely. Maybe twice a week. We'll just see how it goes. Because I still have the other maps and things to go along with this. So, I got one for my 6th grader, my 4th grader, and my 3rd grader. Got three of those there. The next thing is this. I wish I would have known about this years ago, y'all. It's very inexpensive on Amazon. ABC. See, hear, do, learn to read uppercase uh, letters, level one, ages two to five. And the way that it teaches is just absolutely amazing. I actually already started using this with my five-year-old. She just turned five in March. She'll start kindergarten in August. Um, so we have just been sitting down just for fun and doing this. So for an example, here is letter C. We know the letter C makes the K sound, but it tells you exactly how to sound it out. And it gives them like a visual with this. So it tells you to curl your hands like it, like claws and then scratch like a cat. And then while you're doing that, you go K, K, K. She has been catching on so quickly with this. And the same thing with ant. You have the A and you make the A sound and you pretend like you're scared. You throw your hands in the air and you go ah. And it has that for each one and then eventually it gets to sounding out words with that. And she was doing that like she was remembering which each, uh, which animal did what and making that sound and making the word. I will link this down below for y'all. If you're trying to teach reading or recognizing letters, anything like that, this is super, super helpful little guide here. So I will link that down below for y'all. This actually didn't come from Amazon, but I had to show it to y'all because y'all know I love my chickens. Um, we were in Five Below, I think last week or the week before, and they had this notebook in there. So I had to get this for myself because I love to have a notebook just for me, just to jot things down. Um, whether it's menus, curriculum, just whatever. I put all kinds of stuff in notebooks. Um, as of right now on the front page, I just have the kids' names that will be doing school next year and curriculum choices for them as I decide on what I'm going to use. So anyway, I wanted to show that to y'all too. But anyway, I think that's going to be it for this vlog. I thank y'all so much for hanging out with us. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button before you leave today. Give this video a thumbs up. And as always, we'll talk to you in the comments. Bye, friends. Against himself, lest ye be wearied in the faith of your minds. In other words, don't be tired. Don't grow weary in well-doing. Think about what Jesus went through. Amen. He didn't want to go to that cross. 
It was uncomfortable to go to that cross. He prayed, God, if there be any other way, let this bitter cup pass from me. But he done it. He obeyed the, He obeyed his father. He done it because he loves you. Right. So I reckon some of us maybe need to step out of our 